Hey guys and welcome to this video on the C programming language. So I created a pretty fun game, um, kind of fun, um, in C and I wanted to show you guys the program and I will make sure to put a link in the description below um, of this program so you guys can get it off of my GitHub. And anyways, let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you what it's like. So I'm going to just compile and run this and maximize the screen. So it says, uh, welcome to the adventure game, where we press 8 for up, 2 for down, 4 for left, and 6 for right. And I'm doing this based off of the number keys on, uh, I guess, the right side of my keyboard. That's why I chose those numbers. Uh, you can choose any number, really, if you want to, if you want to switch up the code. Anyways, the X is a block, so that means that the player cannot go to the X. You know, So if I was to the right of this X here, I can't go left because there's an X there. It's like a wall. Um, then there's a star. So the star means that you die. And right now it randomly positions X and it randomly positions stars. It's a ratio um, of stars and X's um, for the game. But because it was so random, I didn't want to put too many on there because then uh, we won't be able to meet the the end goal which is to get our P, which is our player or our person, and we want to get them to T, which is our treasure. So um, actually in this case here, there is no way to win because there's an X blocking here and then there is a uh, die star here. So actually this is a unwinnable game. But uh, let's go ahead and try to get to our treasure, which is T. And again, you'll see that we can't. So let me just, what is it? Six is right. So I'm going to type in six. And you can see my player or P goes to the right. And two is down. So you can see it going down. And just for fun, let's go to the left. So that's four. And then let's try to go down, which is two. And you'll see that. It's not letting me. Okay. Uh, something else I had to add into the game is if we keep going over to the left, we hit a wall, right? We don't want it to go past this point. And if I go all the way to the right, same thing. So we don't want it to go past this point here. And so let's go down. Oops. Let's not put 62. Let's go down. And like I said, the object is to get this P or our player or person to T our treasure. And there's an X there. So we're going to go four, then down. And I can't go right. And I can't go diagonal either. There's no diagonal um, position that I put in this game. So sadly, we just have to go down and die. So now it just says press any key to continue. Okay, so let's run it again. You'll see that it, it randomly generates, um, again, those X's and those stars. And I put it, again, at a low ratio so that we wouldn't have something like what just happened. But I'm glad I caught that on camera and on the screen here. So now let's actually try to get here to the T because um, we can now. So we just go 6. Six, six. Okay, can't go anymore. Um, gonna go two. Oops, two. So two is our down. All the way till we get to our T. And it says congratulations, you win. So that's all this game does. Um, I basically have it refreshing each time, so it looks as if. Uh, it's moving on the screen. I'm just having it refresh and reprint the board each time. So it's kind of like an illusion, you know, like video. So thank you guys. Um, please leave any questions you have, any likes, comments. Again, I have this program in the description uh, below that you can get off of my GitHub. And um, let me know I'm thinking about possibly doing some videos on actually creating this game from scratch 
if you're interested uh, definitely let me know in the comments and as always thanks for watching guys and I see you in the next video